Right, hello guys, welcome back to FTRL as always, and it's Division 2 yet again, this time Austria, and I'm joined by, boom, back-to-back -back champion Dutch and Raver's Revenge, how are you doing boys? Absolutely fine man. Good evening, yeah, good. Good, good, good. So, yesterday was a wet race, are we hoping for the same today, or are we in the dry one? No, I want it to gosh. absolutely piss down. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely uh, a spectacle last night, I think. For mm. viewers and, of course, for myself and uh, driving. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot trickier in the wet, for sure. So, after many rumours that Lennon wasn't going to be uh, available uh, for tonight, he is in the pits. So that's good to see. Title challenge goes on. Yeah, good turnout again as well. 17. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Who are your bets on then, boys? Um, I don't know. I think it's a little bit close once again. It's a hard track to drive away from someone. And I think uh, the front runners as Aaron, uh, Connor, uh, onto the podium of course, and Lennon, all three have the best uh, chance to win I think, but I think all this also have uh, a chance if something happens, I think that can always happen here. Yeah, a few tricky corners, uh, a few very off camber corners, especially the one Michael C is going around right now, the, uh, the hairpin, very hard to get traction out of there. I think he ran wide as well out of turn one, Michael, so he's still pushing though, so he mustn't have invalidated. See, posh another one. I think it's just about putting together some sort of uh, consistency, maybe, or pace, whatever it is. Hmm. Yeah. Difficult one to, to hook up this one. Already got a few guys in the chat though. Boy scopes as always, but he says, Hey lads, can't watch the I've got to go to work. Not a problem. And Peatman saying he's gutted he can't race. Stupid Virgin Broadband. Hmm. Hashtag Pete's Internet. Team <laughs> Pete's Internet. <laughs> Well, right. that, that sign by Willie Tix tells me it's going to be a, a dry race. Hmm. Yeah. Five Definitely going for it. Isn't isn't um, isn't bad at all. Four not four four though. Yeah. Bound to the podium. Strong time on the softest tyre. I think that was Guy Carp getting out of the way of Michael C. And now the Red Bull gets out of his way. Yogo's in sector two. I wonder if that's just letting people. Um, I wonder if that's just people letting other drivers through. I would think so. Yeah. Oh, Michael <coughs> C is onto the grass, going into the pit lane, and he's done well to keep it out of the wall there. To be fair to him. What do you guys think about the pit lane on the on this track? Oof. Some, some people don't like it. That's well, very tricky. Uh, the pit entry. Actually, before the corner uh, itself is, so, yeah. mm. if you go through that line, you're very slowly to make it uh, between the lines. So, I hope uh, no one's getting involved in any accidents around here. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a dodgy one. Michael's left, so he must be having a few internet problems himself. Blue flag, I think, is on a final lap. He's definitely pushing, so that would suggest so. Always oh, run very wide there, though. I think that probably invalidated. It hasn't. Okay, that's quite surprising because <laughs> the whole car was off the track there. Then it would have cost him two or three tenths, though. I think he cut the first turn on the uh, on the follow-through lap. Yeah, he's backed up anyway. 
Yeah. 106.2 on the softs. So Aaron is the uh, quickest driver on softs at the moment with a 5.8. Still a few drivers yet to set a time. Lennon with a 137.4. <laughs> okay. Pace. Guy's back and he's crossing the line. 15.8. Oh. The Neutralising those soft tyres. The <laughs> absolute pace of Guy Cart. <laughs> Faster than Lennon on the compound hard, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nah, it's good to see Guy back. Yeah, Def and he's still on the races, of course. Yeah, definitely one of the fans' favourite. Dan's coming across. Well, British Beanhead. I had to start that. Yeah, on the softs. I think Aaron's gone quicker, hasn't he? Uh, yes. Sure yeah, quicker, it was uh, a 5 8, I believe, so he's improved by uh, quite a bit there. Oh, half a second. But Willie Ticks on the Supers just starting his lap. I think it's pretty early yet to start on the Super Softs, if he wants to start on these tyres, of course. I think maybe he's gonna do the Ultra Soft strategy. Yeah, what would you say is the best strategy around here, boys? I think the super sauce to the sauce is the fastest. Uh, but if you can manage the ultra sauce uh, long enough, I think it's also possible to uh, go from the ultras to the sauce. Or maybe even a two stopper, if someone is quicker than others. Yeah, yeah I've, seen a, I've seen a few drivers talking about the two stop. So, might be interesting to see. Uh, Sort of a varied um, stra uh, strategy across the the grid, which would be nice because normally it's just a simple one stop, and it's a bit a bit boring when it comes to the uh, the pit lane. But hopefully, people doing a two stop livens it up a little bit. Yeah, just talking about the tire wear. In one of the practice sessions I did, um, I, I tweaked my. Is that City Push having a moment? Yeah, he's, he's having a weave trying to warm his tyres off and I think he weaved a little bit too much. You know, he put himself <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where, he, where City Push is now though, that double left-hander, like before that, for the whole lap, I was getting next to no tyre, probably no tyre air on the front right tyre, but mm. I was getting 3% through those two corners and I tried it, I tried taking it hard, I tried taking it soft. I was getting two to three percent. Honest to God, it was so weird. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, yesterday on my qualifying lap, I think the right front cool, cool. down in in my hot lap. So <laughs> when you come to those corners, uh, <laughs> it's difficult to steering uh, with some cold tires. Yeah, yeah. well, Lennon had a pretty poor lap. Um, I mean, obviously he had a spin or something went wrong, but he's just put in a provisional pole. One or four threes on the ultras. Um, so let's see if his title rival can can punch back. City Posh having a pole. bit more trouble out of the hairpin as well. Pole time was a three seven. Was it a three seven or three eight last night, Dutch? Uh, three seven, I think by Rampo. Yeah. They're not too far away. Oh, look at the time at the top. Wow, that is close. Onto the podium takes provisional pole. That's that's about as close as you could get. Aaron's out on the supers.
got a little bit of traffic ahead of him but I don't think it will affect him too much um, it looks like it's Donzo looks like Donzo's on a flyer himself but there's mm. not much battery left yeah, he's gone pretty deep in there I think Maybe the cards ahead just put him in, uh, put him in off slightly. Will we take shout out there, to um, Go on. Shout out to Iceman. He's done his time on the softs as well. He's only two thousandths off Aaron. Both on the same tire. The, the time that they've set. It. Hmm. And City Posh on the soft tire. There's a five-one. That's a great time. Looked like he was struggling to uh, oh, get. Oh, Aaron! Yeah. yeah, Aaron called that one a bit late. But yeah, City Posh looks like he's struggling with traction out of some corners, like uh, like he did at Japan, um, where the car just looks so unstable. Um, but he's put together a pretty decent lap time there. A lot of drivers now out on the super softs still have to set their laps on these tires. Mm, top four all in the pit. City Posh, I would imagine, um, will come in so we can get onto the fastest tire. However, it looks like he's saving his battery, so he might go for another another lap before he pits. Oh, he's coming in. Okay, there we go. So the top six all in the pits. Nexus Iceman is on his outlap. He's on the softs though. Um, that's an interesting one. Donzo pits on the uh, ultra softs. Hammer time in the pit as well. Let's go on board with uh, Nexus Caps. Currently on the sweepers in the red ball. Aaron is out on the ultra shots. Yeah, I'm sure the uh, the big guys will be out relatively soon. Wojtek is uh, coming out of the pits as well. Nexus Cats does a 105. Uh, what's that? Seven on the supers. Blue flag's also gone on the supers. He's got a red fuel light, so I think this will be his only lap from here. Oh no. He's coming back in. Alright, well we'll go on board with Aaron while he does his flying lap. And then we will um, we'll jump down to where we ticks. We'll try and get the, uh, the top guys in order as they complete their laps. DRS open up the hairpin. Tricky corner that quick left hander. Yeah, yeah, I think multiple especially lines are available around there. So. Mm. So especially in the wet, it's tricky. <laughs> Up towards the line. Where's Aaron gonna go? Mm. Okay. Is he saving his ERS as well? So but I don't think one. he's gonna get another lap in. Or he needs to have enough fuel. Yeah, it will probably turned everything down on this lap. Tires won't be where he wants them though for his uh, for his flying lap, but not the greatest. Willie Tix has also backed off uh, near the pit lane by the looks of it. 
Oh, Dan was uh, pretty, uh, Beano was quite close to him then. Is he coming through? Macquarie oh, he's got ninth on. on the supers. Oh, pure pace. Must be said, he's only two tenths behind British Bean, who is uh, by no means a, a slow driver. I think Aaron is trying to get uh, back out on a new set of offers. It will be close if he made it. I don't think he's going to make it. Yeah, it will be, it'll be a very, very close. Outlet. So it looks like he's going to be he starting down improve. the order. Yeah, yeah. or oh, on the soft tires if he stays in the top 10. Hmm. No, oh, Aaron do doesn't gonna make it. So, Lennon... Oh. Okay, well... I'll start then. I think he's hoping that he gets out of the top 10 now. So he can start a fresh tire. Well, I mean, the guys hovering around the top 10 are not far off his time, so... Will he he, may, he may even drop out here, and that, yeah, like I said, that is a great time for Willie Ticks to go provisional pole. <clears throat> British Bean has retired from the session as well. Onto the podium is currently on his lap, as is Prototype Steph. Are any of the guys outside the top 10 on a flying lap? I think Pagani is. So let's take a look at these guys, because some of these might be able to push Aaron out. City Bosch is trying to get uh, it on pole on the super shots. Oh, he yeah, aborts his left. Lennon's left it very late. He's going to start a new lap now. Yeah. Ooh. Iceman is coming around the final corner and about to cross the line as well. He goes P4. Great time from him Pro on the, the supers. Proto Death. Steps on his final lap. Yeah, stays P4. P4. Yeah, I think he just got across the line in time, did Steph? Yeah. And he's invalidated. <laughs> so, Can Lennon put it on ball, you think? Let's give it. Well, I think he'll give it his best shot. Only got improved by uh, a tenth or so. Blue flag, penultimate corner. Oh, he's just gone wide. And Aaron is going to start Ooh. only shots, I think. Yes, Aaron P9. Last corner for Lennon. About to come across the line. DRS open. Where can he put it? He does put it, yeah. Paul. What a lap. A 104 flat. Good time. Well, fair play to Lennon. Comes up big again. Not letting Aaron get away, is he? No. Tix isn't happy, I think, on the stream, he says he's fuming. Is that because he invalidated, or...? Um... Yeah, probably thinks so. Or maybe he's just angry that went and pipped him at the post. <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty good yeah. uh, lap time. And yeah. shitty Porsche and Aaron having to start on the soft. So. Yeah, I think Aaron got away with that because he could have been starting outside the top ten had a few of the uh, the faster guys towards the bottom improved. Obviously, Pagani was still on a lap, um, but must have invalidated and decided to retire. So, I think Aaron got away with that one. I don't want to know why Division Two are getting all the good weather. <laughs> I mean, we had to we had rain last night. What's that all about? Yeah. It's switched, mate. The weather has been switched. <sighs> it's Aaron rigged. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's rigged.
Mr. Pagani is blaming the parents. Fair enough. Blame somebody, I guess. Right. Drivers are deciding their strategy. So, while they do that, lads, top three predictions. Mm. I think Lennon will win. Uh, yeah, seems very strong. On to the podium second, and... Ooh, maybe Aaron third? Oh. Maybe a fight between me and... Uh, me? <laughs> Him and Sue <laughs> Bosch for third. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dutch? I think some things will happen, but uh, uh, Lennon wins. Uh, blue flag P2 and think... Um, uh, prototype Steph P3. Okay. I mean, I'm going to go with you guys. I think Lennon will win. And then I think it will be a Mercedes 1 2. Uh, sorry, 2 3. I think onto the podium <laughs> we'll get uh, second. And I think Boy Flago will, will get third. Um, does anybody want to run us through the, less, the rest of the formation a lot? Nearly, nearly finished, but. Not really. <laughs> nearly finished it now. <laughs> okay, well, I'll run through it quickly then. <laughs> Lennon on pole. Will takes P2 in the Force India. Onto the podium, P3. Um, and P4 is another Mercedes in Boy Flag. Prototype Steph, P5 in the Sauber. Another pretty good qualifying from him. Nexus Iceman is starting P6 on the grid. City Posh just behind him in P7. British Bean um, in P8 on the uh, Supers uh, in the Toro Rosso. P9 for Aaron after uh, an invalidation in qualifying. P10 for Guy Carps. That's not a... Not a bad qualifying from him. Nice to see nice. him. Uh, yeah, nice to see him up there. LFT, uh, FTRL Hammer Time in P11 with Donzo just behind him in the uh, Williams. Nexus Cats 13th, 14th for Bendel. Pagani is P15. And Michael C and Agent Panda bring up the rest of the pack. Here we go then. Michael C didn't get back in. Ah, okay, yeah, so it's put him to the back, which is a bit unfortunate. But five red lights. And we're off in Austria. Looks like a pretty decent start for Willy Tix. Might try and have a look up the inside straight away. Ooh, Ooh, Lennon's run a little Ferrari. bit wide. Oh. What's going on, Ravers? Yeah, I think it was Goy who just missed his braking. I think he's got away with it. Lennon and Willy Tix side by side. Into the yeah, open. Willy Tix is having a look. He might go for the switch back. I think there was a little bit of contact, but nothing too major. Oh. The Willy, the uh, the Mercedes are having yeah. a little bit of a scrap in the background as well. And Blue Flag might have a look up the inside of his teammate. I think he's just got House of Zombit to turn to. Oh, onto the podium, up onto the curb a little bit, but Blue Flag has got the move done. Joey Carp's gone onto the grass. Oh yeah, Guy Carp down to P11. Aaron has stayed where he is so far. He's got some quick guys think, ahead of him, so it's not going to be easy. I think Guy's got damage from that, that Bendel uh, moment there. Mm. Bendel's got damage as well. It's not great. Onto the podium is under quite a bit of pressure from Steph as well. But Lennon looks alright out front at the minute. Fastest lap of the race. Was the first car to... Uh, pass but nobody has taken it off him so he's obviously in a pretty good spot at the minute oh Mercedes oh yeah he's going together onto the podium gets the move done up it's oh British Bean tried to go up the inside of Boy Flag and that sent him wide a little bit Three right think... now I think British Bean tried to give the, the, uh, the spot back but Steph and uh, City Posh have taken advantage of that so not the best couple of corners for British Bean. City Posh going well on the softs up to P6 now. Yeah, great start for the Renault. Maybe Goy doesn't have damage. I, I saw some carbon fibre come off, maybe it was just from Bendel's car. Yeah, he's still um, still on the back of that Sauber, so he can't be um, he can't be losing that much performance. 
Who then puts in another yeah, fast whistle? Right. Yeah, that wing looks alright. Pagani and Nexus gets going side by side in the last corner. Bendel's in the pits. Front wing change. Front wing change, yeah, and he's gone back onto the softs. So it'll be a two stop for Bendel. Five second stop, go for oh, Glee. Oh. oh, I think that's pretty harsh. I don't know where it goes. In the airplane, I think. Prototype Steph is all over the gearbox of Boy Flag at the minute. Not letting the Silver Arrow get away. Aaron is on the back of the Force India as well, so he's making his charge. DRS obviously will be um, will be activated now. I think Blue Flag is struggling, maybe some front wing damage. Yeah, British Bean didn't have a great run through the last couple of corners. I think the DRS might just save him uh, from Iceman now. However, as Iceman gets a, a decent run up the hill, that might all change because British Bean has lost the DRS. Here comes Steph. Outside of Blue Flag. Ooh. A little bit of uh, little bit contact. Traction. Steph got him, I think. Yeah, Blue Flag's got the DRS now, though, and has the inside line. Oh, nice wheel bow. <laughs> wheel to wheel action, Steph has actually held that extremely well down the outside and has the inside line now <laughs> for the next corner. It. Oh, Ooh, a little bit of carbon damage. fibre. Yep, front left. Yes. It's not going to help. Come in now. Blue flag. Yeah. Well, it's pretty early for the shots so to go to the end from now. To stop it up. Oh, City Posh has had yeah, a little bit of a moment. Through the last couple of corners, run a little bit wide. She's gonna get uh, multiple warnings now. Yeah, he runs massively wide at turn one. And that's gonna all our City Posh to get a run on him. I think Aaron's just playing this one a bit patient. He's on the softs. He doesn't necessarily need to overtake these guys just yet. You can see the battles up ahead of him. Oh, I think Willis he's just biding his turn. Oh, Lennon's got wide with... Oh, switch oh, back. Oh, oh, oh. He's got him. Yeah, Wotix has got the move done. Lennon will slot in behind. Yeah, force the mistake. Wotix uh, takes the lead. Onto the podium is just hovering around, just behind them. Boy Flag starting to fall off the back of uh, Prototype Steph now. City Posh is all over him. He's, he's still ran, busy, yeah, he's he ran wide again. Yeah, he wants that one stop to work. Oh, City Posh on the inside. <laughs> he's got the move done. And he's still got the DRS, so he's alright there. Yeah, Boy Flag has got the DRS as well. So it's Drag race up the hill. Oh, Lennon. Yes. Oh, he's locked up. Yeah, Lennon's making a move. He's done it around the outside. Yeah. And has got the move done for the lead. Shitty push now with blue flag. Blue flag is turning in a lot now. Yeah, I think he's doing everything he can at the moment to keep City Posh behind him. British Beamers having a little bit of a look up the inside of City Posh then as well. So there's a bit of a train forming be, uh, behind the Silver Arrow. Yeah, this doesn't. This is where Aaron does not want to be in the middle of this train. Does he pit? No, he stays out again, yeah. Blue Flag. Oh. Runs wide again, coming out of the last corner. City Posh has got a hell of a run on him. the inside of the British Bean. Got it done, I think. Yeah, he's yes. got the move done. Good move. From Aaron up into P7. Starting to move forward now. Big up this up, this up the hill he goes. City Posh making a move around the outside. Into the hairpin. 
on uh, on Boy Fly. On traction. Oh. Oh, they've come that together was... a little bit there. Boy Fly has the DRS back though, and we'll be able to defend his position. Aaron Re really needs to be careful here. He doesn't want to get involved too much in this because if these guys make a mistake and uh, and he flies into the back of them, that's just going to ruin Aaron's race. The blue flag goes defensive, but is that also meaning that he's going to pit? No. Oh, he's on. It's starting to get a little bit backed up now. Aaron is all over the back of that Renault. It's now a train uh, to Pagani, even so. So you oh, push up the inside. Aaron's having a look as well. Oh, oh. good driving. Yeah, that, that could have that could have gone horribly wrong. But well, Aaron's managed to uh, to get out of it, and now he looks to the inside. Oh, outside. Sorry. Tries to loop around. Oh, oh boy, oh, oh, nearly puts it in the wall. He just saves it. I just want to say uh, that was a safe rejoin. He will not be given the penalty. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his... pit. Blue flag just has to pit. Yeah, he's got his former teammate Getting behind him in. now. There's battling yeah, going on up front. Now. On the inside, yeah, onto the podium Best past Wilitix. Onto the podium, she's pretty fast. now. Was a little gap uh, from him to Willy Tix a few laps ago. Yeah, I think he's been saving his ARS behind the uh, the two in front, and now he's starting to push. Aaron, I think, is closing up to the back of uh, City Posh. He'll get the DRS up the hill towards the hairpin. And Pagani's got a run here on Blue Flag. I think that would be quite a simple move. Not much boy for I can do there, to be honest. Onto the podium is only four tenths behind Lennon now. So, like you say, Dutch, onto the podium. Oh, he's got some decent pace at the minute. Such consistent driver onto the podium. Yeah. Very rarely gets a penalty. Oh, Votic's gone a little bit wide in the background. Really takes a struggle in a little bit right now. So. Yeah, onto the podium might have a run up the hill here. He's going to have DRS and he is very close to the back of that Red Bull. Aaron has stayed with City Posh, who is catching Steph as well. Oh, Lennon, little moving on the braking, but... Yeah, not, not too bad. Votix is right on the back now. This is a three-way fight for the lead at the moment. I don't think any of these guys are going anywhere. Aaron's fallen off the back of uh, City Posh a little bit because he's having to defend from uh, Prototype Steph behind. Hammer Time and Iceman switching positions and again oh Switch that's back. a that's a great move by great Iceman move. very Willy good drive in right will that trigger the front two to come oh. in oh, oh Iceman lost coming lost way it. too quick Iceman lost it oh oh that's oh, in that's, oh, he's got big cameras as well. That's dangerous. Hammer time doing... lost on front wing as well. Pitch already. Hammer time in. Prototype Steph in. Willy Tix in. So, yeah. Oh, the front two are coming together as well at the hairpin. Wheel banging at its best. And Glendon has the DRS though. So, we'll hold on to the lead. What do these guys do now? I mean. They don't know Wiltix has made a mistake, so surely they they will pit to try and cover him off. But I may be wrong. Wiltix come out in a bit of traffic as well. 
Oh, onto the podium has got a massive run on Lennon here. Into the last couple of corners, he's got the inside line. Switch back now, he pits. Lennon. And Lennon pits onto the podium, stays out. It's the right choice, I think. Slow down. The so. posh and Aaron now second and uh, third. Obviously both on the soft, so won't be pitting for a while, I would imagine. Super softs onto the car for Lennon. So what's that? Is that a two stop? Has he put the Lennon, super? Yeah. yeah, I think that's a two stop then. He's Unless not it's gonna make supposedly going to rain at the end of the race. I mean, it doesn't look too bright on my mm. screen. Mm. Mm. Well, that could be. Um, a long way out if it rains. Could be quite, quite. Blue good. flag also pits. On a new set of ultra softs he goes. Now, I don't know if this is just a spectator thing, but City Posh seems to be locking up um, quite a bit. Not in every corner, so I, I don't think it's a glitch. But then again, with this game, you can you can never be too yeah. sure. If I watch back the streams from the fishing run and I see myself, I also lock up a lot on the stream. But yeah, onto the podium stream. in. Right, so Aaron and City down. Posh. Oh. Aaron and City Posh on the hardest available tyre, just before onto the podium pit, but only five seconds behind him. They've done a really good job of getting through all the traffic. And yeah, uh, those the these two battling a lot with Lennon. Yeah. Lost a lot of time now. They both pitting. And onto the podium is to the soft, so. Yeah, well, Lennon gets on. back in front. And it's quite, it's close. It's definitely close. So not that much time gained on the uh, on the undercut, and onto the podium is in a Red Bull sandwich now. Oh, well, Tix has got a good cat. run on Nexus anymore. Cats there though. <laughs> <laughs> Nexus Cats just couldn't get the power down. And Aaron is past seat posh. Didn't see that. Oh yeah, so Aaron takes the lead. Now, how long can these softs go? 20 laps or, or more? No, more. 22, 24, 24, I think. Okay. It's the longest. Before they really die off. So. Seat posh has got a really good exit, final turn. Oh, God. Oh. That was close. I think one of these guys needs to just accept that one of, you know, it, I'd just stay behind if I, if I one of these guys. These guys fighting is just going to allow the leaders to catch back up. Oh, a little bit of contact there. City Posh struggling to get the power down. Out with the hairpin, DRS open. Got DRS. Are we going to see a Hamilton Rosberg moment? I've always wanted to say that on an Austria stream. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the podium uh, with, a, with a rare penalty. British Bean with a penalty as well. He's going for it on Willy Ticks on the podium. Oh, he's going deep. Pushing really takes off the track, so. Hmm. The, you are right though. There, there are two. There are a few guys who wanted to stop. Lennon, uh, guy started on the supers. He's come back out on the ultras. Um. Blue flag on the ultras. And Willy, the ultras. Willy ticks. Aaron's yeah, pit. Aaron's Lennon. pit already. Okay. So is, 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 has he got damage? Rain. It's raining. Rain. Yes. Rain. But he's oh, picked too early for rain, surely. Yes. He's gone on to and the super supers. I think it's Aaron's gonna be trying raining. to lay a good result here. I think City Bush wants to stay out of that longer now. Yeah, uh, Aaron Aaron has made a huge mistake there. If his tyres could easily have gone, yeah. like you guys say, till like 20, 23, yeah. 24. And if the rain's coming down now, he's basically gained a pit stop yeah, on, on, on people. Yeah. That is a very but, odd uh, decision uh, by Aaron. He's, he's normally a lot better is, at stuff like that. Yeah, but the thing is, like we saw last night, and I remember someone else uh, saying, the rain can take a while to to come on this particular track. Last night, last night for us, it took ages and ages. Yeah, but Aaron could do at least another six lap, I think, on these tyres. Yeah, that is that is a very very odd call from the uh, from the championship leader, but it's definitely going to mix things up. Well, it, maybe. 
it's due to light rain, but not light rain enough until later when it will get heavier. So he's thought, right, if I just go for fresh tyres now, I don't know, I'm just trying to throw a suggestion out there. <laughs> I mean, he's just cut through two drivers fairly easy when he gets past Cap, which I think he will. Yeah. Yeah, looks like he's yeah, going for the outside. Yeah, I don't think Katz is fighting that one uh, too much, to be honest. Lennon close already, almost four seconds in on City push and just pit stops. Yeah, and he, he's got he's got the Force India and the Mercedes in his sights now. He's not too far behind these guys. So you got some some drivers like you got Cats, Iceman, Donzo. They are praying for rain because they've been on supers for 15 laps. Hmm. Yeah, let's load the tyres up. Let's see what everybody's it's on. Definitely coming to an end. Oh, it's good, isn't it? When the rain comes, this is what oh, you want. Yes. Two nights in a row, rain. And I mean, this is this yeah. is great for somebody like Pagani, who we always mention when it rains. Is <laughs> is so good in the rain, especially with changeable conditions. He's just on the outside of the points at the moment, so I would expect him to um, to get up there once the rain comes. He's uh, not far behind British Bean at the moment. Oh, sector three yellows. Next exercise, then. He had another little moment. Yeah, final corner, I think. His rears are done. Oh, yes. he's had another oh, moment. He's... Donzo went into him. Oh, exit of Those the pit tires. Well, British Bean think... was going off at turn one then as well. I think it was coming together with him and Pagani. And British Bean has got a massive run up the hill now. Oh, oh he's no. hit the wall. It's that kink in the road. That kink in the road. Ah. Got damage, you might as well get in, get on the inters. So yeah, he went straight through the sign in into the wall. Yeah, I, I think Donzo got the, away um, with it. Oh, he's... Oh, yeah, British oh, Bean is struggling massively now. Get in and get the inters on. Get that wing changed. He's going to lose way too much time otherwise. Prototype Steph is on the back of Nexus Cats. I think a lot of the drivers now would be waiting for that DRS call. As soon as that goes off, I think they'll see. Oh, massive moment from Steph there. <laughs> he's done really Kept well to well. keep hold of that. Yeah, and he's got a, a real good run on Nexus Cats as well up the inside. And he has the DRS. So that's that move done. And Aaron isn't catching those two guys as much as, uh, as, much as I thought it would. He's only, he's only brought it down by a second in the last couple of laps. So this rain definitely isn't helping. Nexus Iceman is in. I think he's going to be the first one to change onto the Inters. I've got that annoying red glitch. City Posh is in a no, very good position now. He's gone to Ultras. Oh, I, uh, I don't know what some of these guys are doing, I'm, I must admit. Oh, oh, Unless that's a... yeah. no, He's definitely gone to Ultras. Yeah. yeah. Now, has, has he made that mistake in not changing the Inters? Oh. Seems to rain heavier, but not. Or is that just the much choice? You would like for Inters. So cats Maybe and Donzo. Just, yeah, the ca cats and Donzo are just praying for rain. I think City Posh might be getting to that stage as well. Oh, oh City Posh has made oh, a mistake. Oh, oh. Out, out with turn and one. He's lost his wing. Oh no! And onto the podiums off as well. So Aaron gets past both ah. of them. Oh no, City Posh is carrying on going. So Aaron gets passed onto the podium. I wonder if those two have had oh, a come City together. Posh missed the corner. Those guys, those guys must have had a coming together because onto the podium was onto the grass, and City Posh has completely lost his wing. So Aaron now up into P3. So after making a very odd pit stop, he's found himself yet again not in a very odd, you know, not in a bad hammer position. times in. Is he going to be the first one to go to Inters? Yeah, with flags Check everywhere. Man. Entry, yeah. yeah, Inters oh, on. City Posh has had a massive walk up and he's in the gravel. Oh, struggling no. out there without that wing. And his race has just absolutely fallen away. Uh, really dick spitting a Lennon. Yeah, yeah Lennon is going to come in now. I see again a very, a very odd call from Aaron because. 
had City Posh not made a mistake, he would have been in a very good spot to maybe even, well, to go on and, and, and win this race. Whereas now Aaron is going to come out, what, eight seconds behind Lennon, and he could have been ahead of him. Who's that? This one driver that's gone on. Pagani well, hasn't the pit. switching his front wing, so he also got some damage. Yeah, Willie Six held in the pit. So Lennon is back out. Aaron's going to get held behind Pagani's the uh, McLaren. Going for another lap on the super soft. Goya's carried on as well. Didn't Aaron's got Agent there. Panda ahead of him. He's now moving out of the way. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was close. Pagani's having a little moment out of the hairpin. Bendel's gone to the full wets. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Whoa, this is this is getting a little bit mental now. Will he takes on the inside of Pagani? Who, as you guys mentioned, is still on those uh, still on those dries. Yeah. He has no was, grip at all. Yeah, that was so so easy. But you look at this now. Two two of the guys going for the title. Aaron was in a very commanding position. With the rain starting to come down on those softs, he now finds himself nine seconds behind Lennon, when he could have been two or three seconds ahead of him. Easily, I think. Two and it, you see, it's those calls where, where I think Lennon might just pip him in. Can, can I, can can I say something? Uh, after 21 laps in changeable conditions, and apart from uh, the odd internet disconnection, no retirements. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael. She Oh, you, you, you've said it now. Commentator's no, curse. Michael C said in the uh, stream that he's, uh, he's got crap in there. Oh, Agent Bonner lost it. <laughs> there you go, very lucky. Yep. To, uh, yeah, to not crash out. Is. Hopefully he carries on. Keep going. Oh, there you go, Ravens, no. you see? Oh, oh Ravens is... Ra Ra Ravens is fault. I'm only here to say the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Carp, five seconds stop go for uh, for pitting too quickly. Or and speeding if in Lennon bit, stays in the top ten, he will get a fastest lap point. So. Yeah, I think Lennon's got two or three Good penalties point. though, so Aaron might not be out of this. I will have a look at oh, the penalties. City Post has just ejected F1 and put Dirt Rally in. He's just sliding around these corners. Lennon has got one penalty and Aaron only from one warning. So. He's only got one, okay. I thought Lennon had a lot more than that. How's Bendel getting on with these full wets? I've not had a look at yet. He's got British Bean yeah. uh, on his gearbox. Oh, British Bean's had a little bit of a moment and it went onto the grass slightly. Struggling. Yeah, a lot of these guys struggling out there now. And Lennon getting away from Aaron. Yeah, well that'll be the talking point of this race. The very the very odd decision from Aaron. Could be the race that got away. Hammer time with a penalty. Blue Flag has got a massive run on Nexus Cats yeah. here. Oh, oh bit of wheel banging. Nexus Cat's not giving it up easy. Oh, Blue Flag traction oh. couldn't get the traction out and he's gone into the uh, the left rear. He's got the move done though. Oh, past two or three laps was a bit hectic, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a bit crazy. And now with the rain, I feel like the gaps will just get bigger and bigger. So, unless the rain stops... We could be in for a very um, single file race for the rest of this. I think Prototype Staff having a massive moment coming through the last couple of corners out and City Posh. Oh, City Posh having a big moment as well out of the last corner and doing well to keep that out of the wall again. Wow. <laughs> oh, Steph runs wide though, coming out of turn one. And that'll be easy for City Posh, I think. What type of stuff might go for another move here? He's gonna try to Some switch back. Maybe. Oh, he, he, he thought about it, I think. Legend now has 10 seconds between him and Aaron. Yeah, Lennon flying away from this one now. 
Bendel down to P12 on those wets, so they're clearly not working for him just yet. Guy caught with another penalty. Currently down in P15. I can only think Bendel made a, made a mistake setting his uh, next tyre. I don't think he would have, uh, unless it's it, unless yeah. it, the weather said at the beginning of the race it was going intermediate to heavy rain. It just hasn't become heavy rain. Oh, enough oh, yet. oh, oh Steph's Steph, had a oh, massive Steph's moment, round. and he's sliding Can he deep keep it out the wall. Oh, Pagani's coming round. Think, yeah, do it. Right. Oh, Pagani a little wide, isn't it? Yeah, get Pagani a lot closer, don't. Seen a lot of people going wide at turn one in the last corner. Yeah, Pagani's run wide at turn one, picked himself up a penalty. And there we go. Gaps are a plenty. Now, Bridge Bean, Bean is in. in. Yeah. Full wets. Can't see any damage on his car. Come on, put the, put the full wets on. Get us excited. Here he comes. Full wets, yes! And the front wing change. And the front wing change, yeah. Well, oh, definitely seeing go. more spray coming off the cars, but not as heavy as you would like, I think. For the yeah, is, is Bendel going to carve through the field? Right. <laughs> All these guys are going to... Where is he? If they're going Five to seconds forward. behind the... Uh... The top ten, so he, he could find himself well within the points here once everybody pits. Blue flag penalty. That gap is still falling though, um, not increasing, should I say? Oh, bridge has um, been going out of the way. Don't know oh, he's, hit, he's, he's hit the wall in the process. Yeah. He's Destroying all the brake markers. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make it a little bit harder for the top yeah. 10 so we can try and get back up there. Tactical thinking by the Toro Rosso driver. <laughs> oh, he's definitely struggling on this switch. Oh, Goy's mm -hmm. in the gravel. What oh. is happening to Goy? Or is he letting people through? Don't think so. That's a very strange way to let people pass. <laughs> Still in sixth gear. As he's, well, at uh... least he doesn't get any wheel spin now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just don't think it's wet enough for full wet. Stonzo is slightly catching Bendel. Well, go has picked up the place again, so... It is pouring down though. Look at it. Yeah. No, it's full wet time, I think. That's the other six of one. Oh, go is completely off. Yeah, he's had enough. Oh, that's a shame. British Bean is oh. in the grass as well. Really struggling. Lennon going for another lap, Aaron as well, I think. Well, we'll go on board with our leader then. Um, actually, oh, I was going to... almost slide into the pits. So. I was going to mention that the gaps aren't very big, but with Bendo struggling on those wets, Donzo is right on the back of him. Is that a... Oh, British Bean's in the wall! Ugh. Oh. I think it's coming, is it coming up? No, it's... I, I, I don't know where he is. <laughs> I can't, I can't, the, uh, can't tell where he is. Just before the penultimate corner. The mm. uh, the right-hander coming up. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like it. Yeah, Donzo is six is tenths it? behind now. Yeah, but uh, it looks so... Like full wet. Yeah, green. crazy. Oh yeah, there's there's the, the there's the Toro <laughs> there just on the side of the track. <laughs> I mean, nobody pits though. I'm surprised Bendel is struggling this much with the conditions the way they are. The rain oh, is absolutely pouring right now. 
think maybe they want to finish. British beans in the gravel. Next assessment is in. I would only yeah, assume four the went. Not, no. I think the point is that Lennon wants to wait if Aaron pitch for the wedge. Yeah, I think these two are just trying to wait each other out. Got 10 seconds, so... Nexus is back out on the wets. Sagani is... Sagani is close up to the back slightly. Nexus Katz is the next driver to go past the pit lane. He doesn't pit either. What about Hammer Time? Donzo is uh, really Hammer Time is now, so. in. Oh, he's hit the wall coming in. I don't oh, think he took any damage. Wow, okay. Well, that's pretty harsh. <laughs> yeah, British Bean retires from the race. I think he did that in the pit lane. Yeah, he has, I think. So, wet tyres going on to the Sauber. Lennon stays out for another lap. Aaron Aaron is, is yeah, Aaron's pulling to the right, so that only means one thing. You need to watch that curb though in the wet. I think we'll see Lennon next lap in. Yeah, I think that was the the, uh, the thing Lennon was waiting for. He was waiting for the car behind. And will really Tick stay out and try to get his intermediate to the end? City pops in. I think it'll be a hard job. Oh, just about slows down. Penalty for Pagani. Pagani and Steph stay out. So Aaron out then onto the wet. Pagani doesn't pit and he's closing up to the back of uh, prototype Steph. Oh here we go. Pagani might go for a move here. He moves to the inside. Is he going to go for it? Up the inside Looks of the like hairpin. On. On the exit. Oh, Prototype Steph has just got miles more traction coming out of that corner. Pagani stayed there though, and we'll have the inside line again. Gets the move done this time. Good move from Pagani. Lennon stays out. Really takes as well. Yeah, onto the podium, chasing down Willie Tick stays out as well. And Aaron isn't catching onto the podium that much. Well, we might be in for a, a, a very good six laps here, guys. And with the Did weather Aaron like it is... Did another mistake, or not? Yeah, I mean... With, I was about to say, with the weather like it is, anybody could make a mistake at this point. So I, I, I think this is far from done. For sure. Step us in. Yep, so City Posh will move up into P6. Nexus moves up as well. Will Blue Flag get past? No. Lennon is staying out once again. Definitely going to the end. Oh, he's, he's had a bit of a moment there though. Needs to be careful. What Who's about Will that, that, that Salva behind Lennon is a uh, hammer time on the full wets. This could be interesting. If full wets is the tyre, you've got a, a, a lapped car coming through. Yeah. Hamilton, Hamilton came out behind uh, Lennon. Oh, oh! He's nearly gone right into the back <laughs> of him there. Imagine <coughs> well, I think, I, think, I think that just shows though how much those how much slow those inters are because Hammer Time broke so much later than Lennon did there then. Yeah, yeah but Aaron isn't catching anymore. To the podium and Wiltick still having a little battle. Closest gap 
on track at the moment. Another uh, another uh, penalty. A lot of penalties been given out in this race. Mm. Yeah, Lennon stays out again. And Hammer Time is still on the back of him. Wiltix and onto the podium stay out as well. I mean, I think these guys uh, are going to stay out now. I don't, I don't see them pitting with uh, yeah. the four laps left. Don't need to throw away a podium. Lennon's coming Lennon up to uh, the maximum points. Lennon's coming up to the back of Donzo. I think, yeah, must be. I don't think Michael sees cars even on track at the minute. Onto the podium, got very close through the hairpin. What a what a pair of races we've had. Austria hasn't disappointed, has it? Definitely not. No. And neither has the weather. Road races from dry to wet, so... Yeah, can't ask for much more. I think the only other battle is, uh, well, developing is Steph and Katz. Two different tyres between them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Andy saying everybody loves a wet race. We should have one every week. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I might have not, to. I'm not sure that. everybody will agree with you. By the way, looking oh, at the penalty yellows in sector two. I think that's Donzo letting the leaders through. Oh. Yeah, I think it was. Lennon has gone past him. Uh, the penalty situation is uh, onto the podium only having one penalty and really takes two penalties, so he will jump in at the finish. Okay, the so onto the podium doesn't really need to uh, risk anything then. Let me just quickly pull up the, uh, the standings because I don't think there's a big gap between Lennon and Aaron. And this result would pe uh, definitely pull them back together. Steph from the outside of Cats. Um, can he hold it? He's got better traction? No. <coughs> if it does now, this, this, this the, the way it is now, uh, Lennon will get 11 points uh, closer to Aaron. So. Yeah, and it's only 21 at the moment, so... He's, uh, Pulling him back in. Yeah, Lennon got the pole position as well, didn't he? And holds the fastest lap, so maximum oh, yeah. points at the minute. That's that's true. What is it? Two points for a pole, point for fastest lap. Yeah. So that's what 14, 14 points gained on Aaron. So um, no, because he gets 23 points. The win is 20 points. Yeah, yeah, 23. <laughs> my bad. Aaron. Aaron 12 points. 12, yes, so 11 points. So yeah. Oh, and losing it almost. <laughs> well, Pagani gained 10 places this race, coming from P15. Yeah, so I mentioned when the rain started coming down that Pagani would probably move forward, and um, he's de definitely done that. I 
I think the rain is clearing up a little bit now, to be honest. Doesn't look as, yeah, uh, as heavy as it was. I would thought the track would yeah. stay dry, uh, sorry, wet enough. It's not helping Aaron very much though, because obviously the <coughs> the less rain, the worse those wets are. So Pagani's closing in and Aaron's fallen off the back yeah. of into the podium. Yeah, but no problem for Aaron, I think. No penalties for him and Pagani having nine seconds. Oh, Willis, okay. Willis actually is struggling. Yeah, onto the podium. The Might make a move up the inside. I don't think Will Tix will give it up uh, uh, easy though. Last lap. So. Are we going to see a last lap Will Tix dive bomb up the inside? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh up it. the kink. He's done exactly what British Bean did, but managed to keep it out of the wall. He's gone for the switch back switch onto back, the though. podium. <laughs> That's work. a strange line for us to switch back. <laughs> As he goes for it. Oh, no. Don't go for that, Willie Tix, no, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that Take would, off the uh... would have been fuming if he would have done that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That would have been bad. Yeah, he's falling massively off the bat now. I think he's pushing too hard, making too many mistakes. So it looks like it's going to be a P3 for Willie yeah. Tix. Let's quickly switch back to Lennon, though, because he's about to cross the line. Closes the gap. On the Ferrari nice. driver, fantastic Ten drive from now. Lennon. Yeah, cracking drive from him onto the podium. Will come across the uh, the line in P2. So he gained what? He gained one position, I think, didn't he? he started P3. Wiltix on the podium as well. Aaron, after a very odd decision, which I'm sure yeah. Will be uh, will be him. spoke about, yeah, and a very dodgy qualifying as well through an invalidation. But P4 for Aaron still move forward, so I guess not a bad race all in all. Pagani P5, City Posh jumps him, so Pagani P6 actually. Prototype Steph uh, should come across the line. Oh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a save there. Should get P7 unless. Uh, Nexus Cats jumps him on penalties, which he does. So P7 for Nexus Cats, P8 for Prototype Steph, Blue Flag P9, Bendel will get P10. Oh, Don Donzo oh, will he? <laughs> has, uh, has come together. Um, so Donzo will be P11. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the rest of the grid was. What was it? Hammer Time uh, 12th, Nexus Iceman 13th, and then your retirees retire I don't even know if that's a bloody word British Bean uh, Guy Carp and Agent Panda 14th 15th and 16th not finishing the race so Red Bull on the top step again do you guys think he can do it only one more race now for Aaron so well Aaron's sort of got to win that I think yeah well, he needs to win it, and he needs Lennon to uh, probably crash. If Lennon gets a decent result, I think Lennon will have it in the bag. Unless onto the podium can can come out of nowhere, because I mean, onto the podium is only a point behind Lennon at the minute. Donzo getting the clean race award. Zero penalties from him. And could drive from him. But yeah, I think Aaron's on damage limitation after his poor qualifying and the strange strategy he got. Yeah, but I mean, like I say, yeah. he's, he's still moved forward. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. it's not it's not a terrible race, but when you look at the position he was in on those softs, with the, the rain about to come down, the decision he made to pit was was so odd. Alright. I'm sure Ravers will get these guys into the uh, comms booth. We'll get the interviews underway. So what's the gap now between the top two? Ten did you say? 
Yes. Oh. Getting close. Getting good. And on to the podium, closing in as well. I think he's 13 or 14 points behind now. So. Yeah. Aaron needs a big race in uh, in Bahrain, and he needs he needs a couple of DNFs from the the guys behind him. I think. Well, there's two, and there's our race winner. All right, so everybody's here. How are we doing, gents? Pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> Kill, cool, kill. Cool. Right, well, we'll get on to the, the race winner then, obviously. So, congrats on the win. Very changeable conditions. We'll go through qualifying first. How was, uh, how was qualifying for you? Pole position? So. Well, it's. It is what it is. I'll say, can't take which is bad, can I? Because I've still got pole. <laughs> uh, I, got, I got a bit worried because I kind of struggled on my first two laps. Even though I was still quite close to Connor on my, my actual first lap, but. Yeah, it wasn't the best, and I seen wouldn't it get pole, and I thought if I don't, you know, obviously improve here, the race could be a tricky one. It was anyway, but yeah, apart from that, my last lap was pretty good to be honest. Could have gained a couple of tenths or something, but I can't remember until the pole. Okay, well, I mean, before the race, we weren't sure whether you were going to be uh, taking part, um, but obviously, you you managed to you well, your internet managed to hold out. I mean, when the qualifying results flashed up and you saw Aaron down in P9, did your state of mind change? Because obviously you're chasing him at the moment in the championship. Um, and when you were on pole and you see how far down he is, was it sort of like a mental change for you as to sort of, you know, I've got to make sure I don't crash here because, you know, if he doesn't get through the pack, I might I might gain some decent points. Uh, a little bit, really, because I saw what happened to me last week and I was a little bit further down, but I said, Turn one is like really tight as well. I thought Aaron could get damaged or he could get held a lot more, and he did a bit. But no, I just thought if I could just win the race, I've got pole. There's an extra two points. Maybe get fastest lap like I did. It's all I can do really. Even if I get second, third, fourth, whatever, it's just as long as I'm doing my job, I'm I'm happy in a way. Yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you'll watch the stream back and you'll see it, but Aaron was in a very good position um, coming up Second to the rain. Winner, yeah. Well, I th he, well, he was he was in first, um, I think, be before before he pit. Oh, um, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he was on the softs. The rain started to come down, and we were all sitting here just wondering why he'd pit because if he if he stayed out, um, he probably would have obviously jumped you at the pits, gained a gained a pit stop. Um, but he came in, he put the supers on, and then, you know, it, it all sort of went downhill from there for him, to be honest, but, yeah, I mean, how how was the race for you then, in, in terms of the changeable conditions, you find it quite tough, a few drivers were struggling up to the hairpin, especially with that kink in, in the wet. Um, I, I thought alright, really, I got, when I opened the gap, oh, I seen Connor go on sauce when the rain was coming down, I thought, I'm ahead of Willie Ticks, and if I can create a gap to him, I'll just, all I have to do is keep it clean and not even have to push. And, yeah, I'm not saying it was easier, because it's, it's, it is hard in the rain, especially on pad anyway. But, mm. yeah, I just made sure, made, made sure the right, the right time to pit, kept it clean, kept it on the track more, also more than anything, and then I knew the racing would come my way, because I've seen Willie Ticks and Connor were quite close fighting and that, so, I knew I was, I think at that point, when the, about five or six laps into the inter, I thought I'm going to win the race here as long as I keep it clean. Nice. Well, thoughts on to Bahrain then. Um, your gap to Aaron now is ten points. Obviously, this is Aaron's last race of the season. Um, with him going on holiday, do you, do you think that's a pivotal race in in the title? I mean, obviously, once Aaron's out of the way, if you close the gap even even more next week, you've got to obviously then worry about. Connor uh, onto the podium for the viewers. Sorry, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. who isn't who isn't too far behind you either. So is is that going to be a big race next week? Do you do you reckon? I think if I can just keep beating Connor and you know if I finish second or third next week and then beat Connor in the last race of the season, I think the title will be mine because you know I, well as long as I finish high up, obviously in the last yeah. race. But I don't want to you know, count my chickens as people say. I just want to. 
if I just beat try and beat Aaron Connor every race and there we go really I think the title should be should be mine because we're bound to be high up in the in the race anyway. Alright, well again, congrats on the win mate, great drive. Um I'm not sure who is going to interview onto the podium. This is between Ravers and Dutch, up to you up to you boys. Rafe, do you want to interview Connor or do you want to do it? I'll go ahead then. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright then, uh, Connor, you, um, good P2 tonight. When you, you had to put your softs on and then it started raining, you must have thought, oh no. Was that like a moment of, oh no, what's happened there? Well, first I want to say that the weather graphics on the strategy screen are a load of shit and no one should listen to them because we were told uh, that rain would come 45 minutes into the race, not 15 in. So that's how I went on softs. And then Jeff came on the radio saying, rain in 15 minutes. So very consistent game. <laughs> well, <laughs> not much to say to that one, is there, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just go on to next week then. Lennon was just talking about um, what he needs to do to win the championship. I suppose you're in the same position, only with two drivers. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, basically. Um, but I'm the underdog, really. I've got no pressure. Lennon and Aaron have. So I'll just stick behind them and hopefully beat him on penalties for like the 15th time. <laughs> I love mind games. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, I, I suppose that's that's all it, That's all I need to say then. <laughs> Very good. Mm. Dutch? Yes, really takes P3 uh, at the end. Uh, the last couple of laps, do you think uh, Fighting uh, Connor or letting him pass the uh, when he overtook you and knowing that you would have uh, three seconds worth of penalty more than he did. Did so. uh, yeah, I wasn't too bothered about. Um, uh, well, I mean, obviously I wanted to keep him behind for pride's sake, but uh, otherwise, if he had overtaken me, I wasn't gonna defend too hard. Hell, I almost lost it on the straight as he um, overtook somehow, but just suddenly kicked out. But uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be on the podium. We're kind of lucky yeah. given Aaron's uh, strategy call. Yes, uh, okay, uh, how do you feel about the last two races uh, this season at Bahrain and Abu Dhabi? You think you can finish high there or get to um, the podium? Well, my uh, first win in FTR, FTR was Bahrain, so hopefully I can replicate that. Oh. Definitely sounds uh, you will have some good pace around there and the last race. Have any uh, good hopes? Oh, I don't like Abu Dhabi, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, gonna be a good race, uh, but not for you, I think. So. <laughs> I guess not. No. I think that was it. Uh, right. I don't have to talk uh, much about it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that then. So, thanks for joining me, boys. Congrats to all the uh, podium sitters once again. Thank you for the guys watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week um, for Division 1. And like we've already mentioned, it will be Bahrain. So we we'll hope to see you then. Ciao.